Hey guys, Sterling Badger Brush, the finest Badger Brush, uh, and that is a rating just in case this is your first ever shave video. That is a classification. The word finest is special. It doesn't actually mean that this is a fine brush, although it is. Um, finest, best, pure, uh, silver tip, all these are different words used to uh, classify uh, Badger Brushes for shaving. And this one has been soaking for just a few minutes in my uh, soak cup. And the water is, at this location, tepid and hard. The razor we're going to use today is a timeless. This is the knurled handle. Great grip, when even when wet and soapy. And this is the open comb razor, as you can see, the base plate there. And it's the 68, which is the more mild of the... Uh, two base plates for timeless and it's uh, I already got the blade loaded in and uh, the blade is the nasset and so 166 is the use count as of yesterday so today is 167 coming up on 170 the soap we're going to use today is a new one I just got in uh, Matterhorn by WSP and it's in their tallow base which is what they call formula T and I have been really impressed by this base I've, I've tried the old Kentucky in it and um, barbershop and they're both just tremendous the scents are uh, kind of low-key but let's see if Matterhorn is a little different um, I believe uh, cool mountain water by Creed is the scent um, or silver mountain water one of those I think it's silver mountain water is the scent that kind of inspired this and uh, Sterling another of my favorite soap makers has one called Mountain Man and I believe that's the same inspiration as well it smells really nice just a, a, a fresh clean uh, manly type cologne scent and they are talking about in their description about capturing the the air and the wind and up in the mountains and the water coming coming down from the melting snow and all that stuff so that's just what they say um, and whether you it, it, I can see that you know it's it's fresh it's a, and it's a clean scent I like it a lot looking forward to it and it's brand new just got it from I think Maggard's the other day uh, maybe even today all right as usual throw a little water on my face I looked in my finally remembered to look in my data and a uh, 30 second load did really well with past formula tea soaps and then three about three teaspoons maybe three and a half i did four teaspoons once but uh, and it was a good lather but i wanted to uh, try it a little bit more creamy next time so i'm probably going to shoot for three three and a half teaspoons and see what that does all right so a 30 second load as usual, shake out much of the water that's in here. All right. And we're going to roll on 40 here in a, a second and there. So we'll do a uh, go until the marker says 10 on the next minute. The counter. And I did use a badger brush last time I made those measurements. I don't. I don't know if it was a, such a dense badger as this, but I think 30 seconds is a good place to start. Seven more seconds. And there we go. And that's what 30 looks like. Now I'm going to rinse off the container here. So I turn it over upside down and that's when I rinse off the threads. That's all I'm doing, the threads, so that soap doesn't build up in there and cause problems with screwing the cap on and off. And then while it's upside down, any excess water that might be in the soap, it has a chance to drip away. And so now, during the course of the shave, this uh, moisture that's on top here is going to dry a lot. Okay, let's take a look at the razor. Before I start building my lather, I want to show just that it's the, uh, 
that it is in fact the the nasset blade and there's uh, in the bottom corner over here is the uh, portion of the X that's just been faded with wear and that's the bottom side of my nasset blade that is very very used stainless steel razor here and it's just a terrific performer and uh, so far the uh, open comb has been quite aggressive such that can, it made me consider just selling it however this smoothed out older blade might just uh, work in it really well so that's what we're trying out today and let's start making the lather 3d printable bowl the uh, files to do that if you have access to a 3d printer are in the description of this video I helped Roger create this in a very very small way just a few tips and uh, he did almost all the work and the files are available on the Thingiverse website Oh, that's right. We've got a count already, so I'm going to put two teaspoons in it. You know what? Why don't we just go ahead and go ahead and put the three? Maybe this will be a nice uh, fast track to our uh, getting a lather. Sometimes I spend quite a while making lather um, because sometimes I forget my measurements. And so, of course, you can see right now it's very soapy and thin. But if everything is correct, it should cream up and solidify and all those things yeah nice fragrance coming up from the bowl and we'll also see if this doesn't come together like what I know it can then maybe this is a soap that would like to have this uh, the water added a little more slowly yeah looks pretty good so far it has uh, lost that bubbly appearance and looks pretty creamy. Freaked out today. I have a uh, Sabre razor from Blackland. Just got it, shaved with it once during Lather Games last month. and uh, couldn't find it. Now this is a very creamy, nice lather and we got there pretty quickly by going ahead and adding all the water we needed to. Just mix a little bit more. And what I, I knew that I had uh, taken it with me on my recent trip to see grandparents things with my kids. And so I remembered, I thought I remembered what little uh, bag, little tiny tote um, case, little small zipper case that I put it in. And then I couldn't find that in my normal drawer. And so then I suspected, hey, it's probably around somewhere in that case. Oh yeah, nice creamy feel. Let's shave with this and see if this uh, creaminess translates. Or if I need to add more water, it's easy enough to do during the shave. All right. Another splash of water on my face. So I looked through my shaving gear bag. Couldn't find the saber anywhere. I even was looking for that little black uh, pouch that it was in. Couldn't find it. Emptied out all the soaps that were in there, the side pockets, feeling around. Well, there's one pocket that I forgot to check. And because the little uh, pouch was black, you couldn't see it. It just blended in. And so finally I decided to do an exhaustive check where I just emptied everything out of that bag. And I found it. So it was very much a relief. But I keep all my stuff pretty tight. Um, and so it's I'm almost never at a loss for where a razor is. So this is a very dense brush. If you like to just keep it on the tips, then this is definitely a brush for you. Um, it is, you can, you can splay it just a little bit. 
seems to work all right in that situation too. Let's just uh, we'll shave with this. This is usually a little more dry than I personally like to go with. But let's just shave with it and see what happens. We can always add a little bit of a little bit of water to the. Yeah, it's a good scent. Mm-hmm. There's a reason that is a popular one that a lot of people like to duplicate or or use as inspiration. You can see why. It's just very nice, clean and crisp without being too sharp. Lather looks good. Let's give it a shot here. So yesterday I used this same razor, same blade, but I was using my Trader Joe's uh, cream shave. And that's brushless. So all you do is squeeze out a dollop, rub it on your face, put a little thin film everywhere, and then start shaving. And so this is the first time I'm using kind of more of a normal soap with this. Pretty comfortable. Just a very light tugging. So that's nice. And yesterday's shave with it was a, uh, a nice close one too. So not only was it comfortable enough but it was also effective and the razor rinses a lot easier with this more conventional soap than when I was rinsing out the oily lotion like cream lube that was the cream shave This is a much more agreeable shave than when I have a new fresh blade in this guy. He's really kind of too aggressive uh, for comfort for me. All right, let's rinse. All right, so one thing you can do if you think you might want to add a little bit of water to your lather, if it's just a little bit, a few drops, then just leave your face a little extra wet between passes. I'm going to pit this particular brush up against some silver tips that I have that splay a lot more easily. Just really compare the feel. See which one I prefer. Yeah, nice, nice scent on this. Nice creamy lather. And it was pretty quick to generate once you remember the the measurements now do I expect you to whip out a syringe and be able to measure the amount of water you're putting in your your lather bowl uh, sure if you want but what I would do if I had one brush and one soap that I used a lot I would uh, like take the brush out from where it was soaking so now it's sopping wet give it maybe two shakes and then take that to the soap um, to load up and then take that to the bowl to mix up because all that water that's inside there doesn't have to come from the syringe and that's a certain that's a fixed amount of water you know two shakes or maybe zero shakes you know you just or you turn it up and you let it drip for a little bit uh, you know anything uh, let it pour out in that tiny stream and then when it switches to a drip you stop you load the brush you move on then that's a very practical way to measure water and so maybe that would be best uh, for you folks who don't want to take the time to measure it which I totally don't blame you I only measure it so that I, I can help people Because I need to be able to give a fixed amount. I just can't say. It doesn't. I can't tell you. Well. I shake it out until. Until mine drips like so. Because see if you have a different. Uh, type of brush. 
then it holds a different amount of water. So those relative measurements aren't helpful for other folks. So that's why I use a standard. This is, and this has been a perfectly comfortable pass with no irritation uh, at all, no tugging or anything like that. Just wonderful. And I had a nice creamy rinse after that first pass. It's been great. All right. Load up the brush again. 30 seconds of loading looks also like about the right amount of soap. I'm going to have a little bit extra here, but I do like uh, some margin. Looks like I could probably still back it off to 25 or something like that if I wanted to. I don't need quite this much extra. I'll show you after a little bit here. And uh, you see me doing the scrub, and I've said this a few times, you really only need to do that on the first pass. I'm, I'm evaluating the brush, and so that's why I am scrubbing on all passes, but I don't need to. Well, this lather seems to be working nicely. Uh, some lathers that are this thick aren't as effective because the soap doesn't really connect with the skin very well. And so then it doesn't protect you against the razor. It doesn't offer that slickness. So third, third pass, just to, you know, 97% of the hair is gone. So, just kind of polishing it off here. You can pick the, you know, you, you might be able to go against the grain, and so maybe your third pass is very different from mine, but I can't do that. Get irritation and razor burning cuts if I do. On my cheeks, I could probably get away with it, but uh, oh man, see, that feels so good. That is often a treacherous and razor burn experience right there, and I don't even relather. And I just, great cutting and smoothness. Um, I sure hope. Uh, that kind of looks good from here, but we got to kind of rinse the soap away to see for sure, which I will do now. Well, guys, it's official. This razor has just supplanted the longtime champion of this Nasset blade in its age uh, from about the 90s to 160 or so the Sheraton vintage Gillette Sheraton another open comb razor uh, it had the geometry that was just the best for my face with this old blade and it started to lose a little bit of efficiency it wasn't tugging or anything during that first pass it was smooth in the second and third, but then when I looked in my trouble spot here, there was just starting to be too many hairs with some length on them. And so I was thinking, ah, if this keeps going, then that means the end of this blade because I have kind of run through a lot of my other razors um, and uh, uh, I'm not going to keep, I mean, I'm, I want to test the effectual shaving uh, prowess of the blade. How long can I get? get reasonable shaves you know good shaves without having to do like six passes besides your, your face probably can't take that so anyway terrific terrific close shave with this timeless again open comb base plate traditional with timeless you get that nice channel right there for clearing out the lather and stubble and it's got the drain holes on the bottom it's just a terrific piece i like the weight of it uh, very much so it's it's and it worked out just terrific today I have zero irritation let's prove it with an alcohol splash right well prove it is one thing you can still get some stings even though you have good technique but I bet I won't 
This is Seville from Barrister and Man. Man, this is the one from the uh, uh, from the Glissant base, I assume. So whichever was the matching aftershave for that, I, uh, it's their barbershop scent. It does have alcohol in it as the first ingredient and I'm not getting any sting at all. Comfortable shave, really nice. Great deal. What does this uh, have in it? What kind of skin goodies? Uh, witch hazel, uh, chamomile, or at least something that looks like chamomile, calendula some different uh, extract so some skin food healthy goody stuff and it's got the great Seville scent so um, let's smell the bowl of lather now yeah I think these two play together pretty nicely the soap of course isn't going to stay around for very long and so the Seville uh, in the AS easily overpowers it and I'm fine with that but uh yeah so that's a, a good splash i enjoyed the uh silver mountain water type scent that was in the soap the uh it was available during the shave i'd say the strength of the scent was about uh, five out of ten which uh is in a nice zone for me so i'm really happy about that it's uh, the crisp notes i think are a little easier to detect than like old kentucky from the same maker is was is a very smooth sweet type scent and so it's much harder to enjoy because of that uh, the strength there is kind of on the low uh, mild side but this is different it was very nice um, in terms of the uh, lather I had I already kind of rinsed my bowl out but I had easily two passes left over so maybe a 25 second load next time um, but I was really happy with the slightly thicker lather this time it worked really well it was creamy luxurious rinses uh, very good face feel it uh, not only did it feel good and creamy as I was rinsing away but it rinsed kind of quickly it wasn't like yesterday's uh, cream shave that took a long time to fully rinse um, and uh, so I, I greatly appreciate this more so three teaspoons of water was what I stuck with um, so that's that and this is hard water and so if you have either hard or softer water than that you should have no problem with this soap making a good lather I've had a chance to kind of strop this uh, brush and that's how the sterling looks nice soft tips I have lofted this guy myself um, attached it in there about as high as I could go uh, by using spacers and stuff and so he's gonna open up as much as he can and I'm hoping he keeps kind of uh, bending out and getting more uh, uh, more broad so that there's less concentration here so that I can keep it kind of in splay a little bit more but so far I think I'm really enjoying it and uh, it was a good buy uh, especially uh, I will definitely continue to recommend this brush to, to new folks it's soft it's relatively inexpensive I bought that one for I think 20 bucks because I bought it off the factory seconds area of Sterling um, because uh, they said it, it uh, they said it was a shedder and uh, and they have um, they comb their brushes out when they when they get the knots in they'll comb uh, them out and if a, over a certain number of hairs fall out then they deem it to be a shedder and it's possible that no more hairs ever fall out after that point but if it meets a certain number then that's what they've established as their cutoff well i haven't had a problem with this guy at all and so it was a big win for me i chopped off the handle uh, dremeled it down a little bit uh, got down to just the knots so that i could put it in a more comfortable ergonomic handle for me that's what i did this one's from craving shaving uh, and so there um, so it's I, I, will, I will continue to recommend it because of the wonderful soft tips it's got pretty good backbone so that a lot of people who like a little bit of massage and uh, face feel and scrub are still going to get that uh, the soft tips will still give people comfort 
Um, and so it's a, and, and the price is there, even the full price version, which I think was $30 or $35. I can't remember really. It's a great entry level badger brush and he bats because of the density there, he bats way above his price range uh, with just the face feel, softness and all that. Lather generation is terrific. So he's a winner in my book for sure. Uh, Seville, nice. Smelling good. I'm still kind of smelling it as I'm moving around. Uh, so three teaspoons of water was added. Had a couple of passes left over in terms of the lather. And that makes it 167 uses with the Nasset. And it was wonderful. No irritation. Uh, no visible. No redness or anything like that. No weepers, of course. And a nice, nice close shave. And yeah, really almost BBS on my cheeks which is which is really good so uh, this is my new guy right here as it turns out he might be the one to take me to 200 maybe beyond who knows all right so uh, I still am planning to hit 200 at the end of August at the end of austere August I still don't know quite what else I'm going to do I've got so many soaps to enjoy because I just bought a big box of them um, I, I don't know if I'm going to choose one soap uh, for August. I mean, for goodness sakes, what is it? It's the 17th or so, something like that. So we've just got, you know, 13, 14 days. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know that I want to restrict myself to a certain soap, but I will do the same blade and razor as much as I can. All right. Well, there we go. Um, got a terrific, close, comfortable shave with a 167 use blade i'm not saying you need to go that far but i'm just saying maybe if you usually stop at five or seven uses on a blade if you want you probably go a little further all right well this is sugar daddy shaves uh, happy happy camper with today's shave hope there was something here for you you take care and good night